Today our Christian brothers and sisters are celebrating Christmas. That is the birth of Hazrat Isa alayhi salam. Peace be upon him. So today we will talk with you about Hazrat Isa, peace be upon him. As we know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent so many prophets to guide human beings. There are a lot of prophets that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent in Bani Israel. Among those prophets, so among those prophets there were there were two prophets, Hazrat Zakaria and Hazrat Mira, the wife of those two prophets were sisters. Both of them didn't have any children for so many years. Hazrat Imran and her and his wife yeah. always prayed to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to have babies. And they didn't lose their hope in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's blessings. During their old age, Hazrat Imran, peace be upon him's wife, got pregnant. They were very happy. The wife of Hazrat Imran was so happy that she decided. Imran was so happy. The wife of Hazrat Imran, peace be upon him, was so happy that she decided to gave her child to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's work in the temple. During that time, Imran peace be upon him died. After that died death of Hazrat Imran peace be upon him a baby girl was born. At that time, there was a custom that girls were not useful for any religious work. So the wife of Imran prayed to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us about the birth of Hazrat Maryam alayhi salam in the Quran. In chapter 3, Verse 35 to 36. That is the Surah Ali Imran. So she gave Hazrat Maryam to a temple. And Hazrat Zakaria take and Hazrat Zakaria peace be upon him took the charge of taking care of her. And this story is also in the Quran that how Hazrat Zakaria peace be upon him took the charge of Hazrat Maria alayhi salam. And Surah Alayhi Ran, Chapter 3, Verse 44. Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala made the mention the story of that. The story is like this. Hazrat Maryam, peace be upon her, was the daughter of. Hazrat Imran, peace be upon him, everyone wanted to take care of her. So they, so they decided to choose a person that take care of her. So they write their name in a pencil and throw the pencil into the water and the one into the river. And 
the the pencil that floats the pencil that floats is the winner and will take the charge of taking care of Hazrat Maryam so they all throw the pencils to the river and only the pencil of Hazrat Zakaria peace be upon him floated and the others drowned so Hazrat Zakaria peace be upon him take the charge to take care of Hazrat Maryam peace be upon her so he made a room in the temple for her where she can pray. One day when she was praying, he found fruit in her bedroom that wasn't in that season. So he asked her and he got surprised because that fruit wasn't in that season and he recognized that fruit that was from paradise. So he asked her. Where did you got that fruit from? So she replied. And she tells that it's from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is told in verse... Uh, this is told in verse 37 of Surah al Imran. One day... Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent an angel to give the good news of the Prophet Hazrat Isa, Hazrat Isa peace be upon him and suddenly the angel appears in her room and in the form of a human and Maryam peace be upon him got scared and tell the angel not to harm her and the angel told him that he will not harm her and he had very good news from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he said with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's plans she will be a mother of a son and that will be the last prophet of Bani Israel and his name will be Hazrat Isa peace be upon him Call him Isa. In English, Jesus, and in Spanish, Jesus. And Hazrat Maryam was surprised. And she asked the angel, How could this be possible? She is not married, and she is not a bad woman either. And the angel replied, For Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, everything is possible. So she got pregnant. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told her to leave, to leave and go to the east. To leave that place and go to the east. When Hazrat Isa was born, she came back. And when the people saw, the people gathered around her and asked her questions. They asked questions about the father of the child and whose child was. She didn't say anything and she pointed to the baby. In that time fasting was and only not eating and drinking but it was to not talk. So it includes not to talk. So she pointed at the baby. She pointed to the baby and said, I am fasting and pointed to the baby. And the people got more angry because how could a baby talk? It was a, a born baby, a newborn baby. How could that baby talk? So with a miracle, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made it possible that Hazrat Isa alayhi salam, peace upon him, talked to the people and the people got very surprised for that miracle. So everyone knew that he was a prophet. And this is mentioned in Surah Maryam verse 27 to 22 to 32.
in the Holy Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned, Hazrat Isa peace be upon him, 25 times. In Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned, Hazrat Isa is the prophet, as a prophet of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's also mentioned the son of Maryam peace be upon him. That is Mary in English and Mary, Mary in Spanish. Maria in Spanish. It's also mentioned as the word of God. Of the miracle of La Subhana wa Ta'ala. The spirit from Subhana wa Ta'ala. From Allah Subhana wa Ta'ala. So, guys, hope you like this video. And remember to give a like, subscribe, ring the bell, give a comment below if you like this video. And if you want more, and share if, if you want to know if you want any other prophet like. Hazrat Nur, Hazrat Ibrahim, Hazrat Musa. If you want any of them or any Hazrat you know? Ibrahim. No. <laughs> it's an angel, not a prophet. Yeah. Or any prophet you want to know um, the story of them or any question, please comment that below. Or Hazrat Tisa. This is our second prophet because first we did the um, the story of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and now we are doing the one of Hazrat Isa peace be upon him bye and share with your friends and family bye for more information you can find in Quran you can buy it online or if you want if you want to study or learn more more you can we can provide you in spanish and arabic so bye now we will see you next time